Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you all the notable buffs that M. Bison has received in Season 2. Also, if you prefer a more detailed list of all of Bison's changes he's received, including his nerfs, then you can go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. So, let's get to it. Alright, buff number 1, Bison's Standing Light Kick is now a 3 frame startup from 4. This is a big buff for Bison because it helps him continue pressure or get out of pressure easier. For example, after a block down forward heart punch, which is plus one on block, then Bison will now always win if the opponent uses a normal attack, even if they have a 3 frame normal themselves. Before in Season 1, characters with 3 frame normals gave Bison some issues. This also allows Bison to punish things that he otherwise couldn't before. Finally, this gives Bison a good confirm from a crouching medium punch now. Okay, buff number 2. Bison's crouching hard punch now has a slightly better hitbox to help prevent characters from crossing them up because of its slow startup speed. It also does slightly more damage if you hit with the tail end of it. Buff number 3. Bison's down forward hard punch can now be juggled and slams the opponent to the ground on hit if you hit him in the air. This adds a lot of new combos for Bison, and even more wake-up options since it slams them to the ground. Moving on to buff number 4, Bison's V-Skill can now store the charge and could be released whenever you want on reactivation. This gives Bison an even easier time to deal with projectiles now, since he doesn't have to risk the opponent jumping in on him. The process is much faster now. Since you can store the charge, Bison now has a lot more combo options with this too. It knocks your opponent up, which allows you to easily juggle afterwards. Alright, buff number 5. Bison's target combo standing medium punch into down forward hard punch now combos naturally. This gives Bison a decent counter hit confirm from standing medium punch. It also makes a great V trigger confirm as well. Okay, buff number 6. Bison can now juggle a light cycle blast after a hard inferno for a slight damage boost. Moving on to buff number 7, EX Cycle Blast now no longer detonates until it makes contact with the opponent. The V-Trigger version has also been slightly slowed down, allowing Bison more pressure options and more mix-up options. Alright, buff number 8, Bison's EX Head Press can now combo straight into a Skull Diver if he hit the opponent in the air. There are some situations where even the normal head press will combo into the Skull Diver, and it slams the opponent to the ground. Buff number 9, Bison's V-Trigger versions of his knee press now start off faster. This now allows Bison to combo the same way that he could without V-Trigger, so light attacks can combo into his light knee press, while medium attacks can combo into his medium knee press. This will give Bison players an easier time to not have to adjust their combos after they already activated V-Trigger. And finally we have buff number 10. Bison's V-Trigger version of his EX Head Stomp is now fully invincible from frames 1 to 25, making this a ghetto reversal. I say ghetto because even though it is a reversal, the attack itself is quite slow. But it does give Bison players more options. And that's a wrap guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, hope you've learned something. Be sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll keep you guys informed with more fighting game videos in the future. So, take care.